Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to secure your wool batting around your latex foam cushion. If you haven't seen the video, how to book wrap your foam with wool batting, see the link below this video and watch that first. We're using this wool batting with a thin spun backing, which is also wool, which makes it easy to work with and keeps it from sticking to everything. There's two ways you can attach this around your latex. You can hand stitch it, or you can use a stapler. This is a plier style stapler, but you can also use any household stapler to do this. So let's do it. The tools you'll need for this project are either a needle and thread or a stapler. The materials you'll need are wool batting with a thin spun backing cut to a book wrap shape, plus your latex foam cushion core. Once your latex is in place and your wool is wrapped up over the foam, you're ready to begin. First fold the short edges of your wool up to meet the long piece that's folded over the top of your latex. Then pin the edges together and you're ready to start stitching. A simple overhand stitch works fine. Just make sure you're catching the backing from both edges in each stitch. These stitches are about a quarter inch apart, but stitch length is really not critical. Work your way all the way around, stitching the corners as well. The backing should be fairly snug across the face of the cushion when you're finished. And don't worry if your seam looks like something out of Frankenstein. Most upholstery cover fabrics are thick enough and forgiving enough that this won't show at all. This is also the case if you decide to use staples. Staples are a faster solution than stitching if you're not averse to having metal in your cushion. Stapling is actually a common practice in upholstery, and most upholsters will be using a plier stapler like this, though a household paper stapler works just fine too. Here I'm stapling over the stitching just for illustration purposes. If you're doing this at home, you'll be pinning the edges together and then stapling about one inch apart. You'll end up with the raw edges sticking out more than this, but you won't feel it through most upholstery fabrics and you won't feel those staples either. The final step to finish your latex upholstery cushion is to be sure there's a layer of ticking fabric between your wool batting and your outer upholstery fabric if it's woven. I'll be covering that in the next video, so stay tuned and be sure to subscribe below.